Welcome to Body Wood Fit, presenting Stroller Bar. All right, three big inhales. Inhale all the way up. Exhale all the way down. One more time, in with the good and out with the bad. Roll those shoulders back. Slight bend in your knees, just warming up the shoulders, relaxing the neck. And roll it back, back. All right, walk those feet together and lift your knees up to your chest. Palms are open and straight. Lift those knees all the way up to the chest, engaging your abdominals, relaxing the feet. Now lift the arms, both arms reach up to the sky as those knees come up to the chest. Still engaging those abs. Lift. Lift. That's it. Now we're going to take the arms out towards the toes and reach towards our foot. And up. Out and up. That's it. Out. Reach up. Really reaching for those toes. That's it. And out. Now we're just going to tap towards that toe. Really engaging those abs. Breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. That's it. Tap it out. You're going to get ready, and you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take it out towards the toe and lift. Sometimes this takes some time. You get a little confused trying to get the right leg out. That's it. Take it out and up. Now, tap it out. Tap. And out. 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 Reaching towards those toes. Elbows are open. Arms are engaged. Keep going out, out. That's it. Reach and out. That's it. Lift. Take it out. Good job. Now we're gonna twist the torso and pull down the opposite arm to the opposite leg. Twisting and pulling these in. Getting a nice twist in those abdominals. Crunch and crunch. All right, we're going into a press lunge. You're pressing all the way through the palm of the hand, keeping the back leg straight. You really want to get a stretch through the hip flexors, engaging the arms. Now we're going to do side reach. We're reaching over our head and engaging our oblique as we stretch the other side. The head follows the arms. All right, now we're going to go into a side knee lift. So you stretch and bring the knee up to the elbow, crunching those obliques. If you lose your balance, you can always do this smaller. You don't have to lift your knee so high. Pull the elbow down into the knee, that's it. And back into press lunge and press it out. Press, press. Now put a little bit more energy into it. That's it. And over to the other side. Side knee lift. Get a nice stretch, pull it in, and engage in those obliques. Side stretch, and little pulses. The other hand is just rested on the hip to give you uh, some balance. That's it, elbow to the knee, back to press lunge, and it out. Really engage those arms, engage those legs. All right, we're going to turn to the side, arms up, starting our lunges. We're going to bend right over the toe, bending the knee down towards the ground, lifting up through the arms, through the fingertips, pulling the abs in tight. Now pulse down as low as you can. Abs are engaged. Pulse down, down, that's it. You should start to feel the legs warming up, giving a nice burn. Pulse down. All right, from here we're going to stretch up and over down towards that foot if you can. If not, you're just going to bring the hands up to the side and take the back arm and reach up to the sky, opening up the back shoulder and in the center back to our squats. So now we're in center squats. The weight is back into your heels, light touch to the ground, pulse down towards the ground, bringing the hips as low as possible. Now rock it side and side. You're feeling a nice deep stretch through your inner thighs. Rock it side and side. That's it. You're 
bring the arms straight out in front of you now. Okay, you're reaching further out in front and getting deeper in a squat position. Reach the arms out and into the hips and squeeze your glutes. Squeeze up, reach out, squeeze up and out. Turn to the other side, reach the arms up, and do your lunges, making sure that the knee isn't passing the toe. Try not to arch the back, reach up, up, always lengthening and stretching as you get low towards the ground. Now stretch down towards your foot. Breathe, inhale, and You're gonna take that back arm, you're gonna reach it up towards the sky, turning the shoulders outwards. Now take it back down to your squats. Squat down and down. Stretch down towards the ground, bend your knees and ground it up. From here, we're gonna go down to our mats or our towels in a plank position for our leg lifts. So we're in a full plank position, taking the leg up, tapping it down. Take it up, tap it down. You're just gonna pulse up into the sky, just right above the hip level. Feeling the burn through the arms, abs, and glutes. Pulse, pulse, back to plank, down into your downward dog position. That's right. And when you get ready for the other side, same plank position, tap the toe down and up. Lift, tap down, gentle tap down towards the ground. You want to keep your head in line with your shoulders and back. I'm watching my little one. I'm now pulse at the top as she runs away from me. You're going to do the same set as you did on the other side. So little pulses for about 32 reps. Take it up, lift, lift, point the toe, and press back. All right, I'm going to be chasing my little one right now. But what I do to keep my exercise going is I'm going to do some lunges. With my hands just right next to my side, I'm um, following her around. Um, I also go into prayer position squats, getting as deep as I can, like sumo squats almost. And then, you know, you're just running after them. You keep your exercise going. You never stop. Being right into cardio, you're going to angle yourself into your bar, chair, stroller. Bring the elbow down to the knee. Your palm is facing you. Take it in, in. Crunching through the abdominals, you're burning out your standing leg. That's it. Take it in. You do this for 32 reps. Pull it in. In. Make sure you're at a 45 degree angle. Pull it in. That's it. Get lower. You should start to feel that burn. Take it to a standing front knee leg. Bring the elbow down to the knee, working the front of the abdominals. Pull it down, down to a nice, strong, tall body. Take it to the side. So we're working our obliques here. You really want to crunch to the side to get front and side. Front and side, alternating front and side. Working all the way through the abdominals. That's it. Up, side. Up, inside. That's it. From here, you take it over flat back, reaching the toe out, burning out that quad. And take it up, heel toe. Now we're leaning back, we're tapping the heels and reaching up to the sky. Now take it out, four and up, for four. Take it out for two, up for two, out for two, and up for two. Single count, out, lift up. Make sure that your chin isn't tucked in, that you're breathing. Out, lift up, keep it over, tapping out, out, out. From here, you're going to go into parallel side leg presses. You angle yourself into the bar, lift the leg up to a hip level, opening up the chest, pressing through the heel. Out, out, small, tiny flex presses. 
your arm is completely straight, your hips are open, you're pressing through the palm of the hand and all the way through the heel. Now crunch it into the chest and bring it out. Into the chest and out. Back in, press out. Crunching those abs, working all the way through the body. Now leg lift. You bring the arm down to the hip or to the knee, crunching those obliques, then down, down, lift that leg, higher and higher, good, that's it, hold it, hold it, hold it, and we're just going to do a small stretch, come into your bar, sit into that hip, we're going to go on to the other side, reach that hand up, reach your leg back, and take it into the elbow. Make sure that you're angled over so you can really burn out that quad. Reach and pull. Pull down. Pull down. That's it. Light tap to the floor. Good. Take it in and out. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. If you'd like, you can take that leg off the ground. Really burn that thigh out. Breathe. More energy. Take it in and out. In, out, in, out. That's it. In and out. Now stand up tall for that front knee lift. Pull it down, down. Now take it side, side. We do these for eight each. And then we're going to go into a front and side position. Front, side. Front and side. Front abs, side of loose. If you feel in your hip, make sure you reach out towards your knee. Front and side. Now take it over, flat back, reach that leg out. You're working your shoulder blades, you really want to work that way. Take it out, out, that's it. Now reach it up, heel toe. We breathe as we reach that arm up. We're leaning back, pressing the hips forward. And take it over, four, and up for four, three, two, and one, over for two, two, and up for two, take it flat for two, up for two, I let down my guard, I fell into your arms, out, single count, right here, you stay over, flat back, reach that leg, out, use the arm, from here, we're going to come up into our flex leg press. Make sure your arm is straight. If you need to adjust yourself, you're going to do that until the arm is completely locked down. Small flex. Flex. Flex all the way down. Palm of the hand. All the way down. Foot. Now bring the knee into the chest. Reach out. In and out. In. Good. Out. In. Keep it going. Press. Harder. That's it. Now leg lift. Keep the foot flexed. Make sure that you have all of your tension on that bar and you're lifting up from the side. And take the arm down towards the leg. Press. Squeeze the obliques. Breathe. Breathe. Beautiful. Down. Down. Now you're going to go down into that same stretch we did on the other side. Moving on, we're going to bend at the waist, take the arms out straight, and we take the knee up to hip level, opening up the hip, open it, try to keep the hip that's working, pressing down towards the floor, you want to lean into the right arm if your right leg is working, and pull with the left arm, open up, squeeze the glutes, if this bothers your back, you're going to go down onto your knee and do the same thing with your arms to the floor and on your knee. Open up, up, reach abs. Now take the leg up into a scorpion leg lift. This attitude leg lift is working on lifting the glutes, lifting that booty. You want to relax the foot as well as point it. Lift from the knee, keep the arms locked, pressing in with the right, pulling with the left. Make sure that hip isn't twisting open. You want to keep it squared off towards the ground. Your other leg is straight. If 
you bend it, you're gonna get a nice quad workout, but you wanna keep it straight. From here, we're just gonna point to the angle, bending that knee, pointing out to the side. Point, bend, point, lengthen all the way through the toes. Now, little pulses. Right here, you might feel fatigue, so you wanna lift the standing leg. Keep those arms strong. Leg lift. So now we are lifting from the angle. We're lifting in that standing leg. Make sure that leg stays strong and straight. Lift, lift, breathe, breathe, and lift. That leg is getting heavy, I know, because I can feel it. Lift, up, up, up. Hang in there, lift, lift. That's it. We do each set for 32 reps. Now we're going to take the leg directly behind our hip. So now it's not out to the end. You're going to feel right in the back of the glutes, right in the inner thighs. Lift it up. So we're working all the way around the hip, all the way around the glutes, through the toes. Lift up. Lift. As you can see, our beach is nice and groomed. They groom it twice a day. Lift. I'll take it down. You're going to sit into that hip once again, stretching through the lower back. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side, getting that flat back position, head in line with the shoulders. Take the knee up to the side at hip level. Bring it back down and open it up. Engage those abs elongate through the spine. Always pushing with the same leg that's working. So we're now pushing in with the left arm and pulling with the right. And open and close. You want to control the leg as it comes up to the side and place. Again, 32 reps in each position. We're in an attitude like lift or a scorpion like lift, whatever you want to call it. Make sure that your knee stays bent and you're lifting from the heel and the toe. The whole leg is lifting as a unit. You might feel fatigue, so you might be starting to lean into the right arm. Push with that left, pull with the right. Abs in. Make sure the chin isn't closing down into the chest. You want to open it up so you can breathe well. Lift, lift, that's it. Now point out to the angle. So we bend nice big point till the leg straightens. Point, point, that's it. Bend and point. Little pulses at the end. So now these are smaller, faster, point, press, point, press, point, press. Pull up through that standing leg, pull the abs in, leg lift. So here we're just lifting that leg from the angle. You're gonna feel it burn on that outside of that hip. Lift up, up, up. Good, push in with the left, pull with the right. Continue to breathe, hang in there. Keep lifting through the leg. Push into the bar, lift, lift, higher, higher, that's it. Now take that leg straight behind you. The hips are now pointed both to the floor, and you're lifting straight up, right behind you. Knee is pointed towards the ground. You can feel that lift on the inside of the booty. Try not to drop the head down. You don't want to harp on the shoulders. You want to engage through the abs, all the way to the standing leg. Almost there. Lift and take it down. And you sit into that hip. We get stretch. From here, we're going down to the floor for crunches. Tabletop legs and bringing the shoulders off the ground. We can feel elbows open. Take it up, up, back there. Now, you're going to bring the right leg.
leg out for eight lifts. Lifting and crunching and do eight on the other side. I know I miss it on this one, but you're gonna do eight on the other side and then you're gonna start alternating the legs. Reaching out, crunching. You're gonna be here for about 32 to 64 reps. I suggest going as fast as you can at the end, but you don't have to. Um, it's a long set, so you're gonna feel the burn no matter what. Keep pointing and get the elbow to the knee. Crunch. Twist. Twist. Make sure you don't rock through the shoulders that you're really lifting all the way off the ground. Engaging the abs. Lift up. Now double time. Here we go. Burn it out. And here comes my little one again. From here, we're going to go straight to the floor. You're going to do hip raises. I don't get through the set because um, my little one runs away. But you're going to do this for the same amount. You do it for 32 to 64 reps. You want to do it a little quicker at the end. And she runs away. So we just go back and forth. So I want to finish the exercise. So um, when she when she needs her time, um, I don't deprive her of it, but I do follow her and I continue my full workout. And we go into the prayer squats, just like we did before. So we go into our lunges, then our prayer squats, getting as low as possible, and back into our lunges. As soon as she starts moving, I just try to keep moving. Um, take the, uh, this video for um, just Motivation to keep on going, even when your kid is all over the place, you can still get your exercises in. Um, after um, we ran around for a little bit, I tried to do some curtsy squats with her. Um, those are really good for the inner thighs. And then um, she didn't want to be held, so we went down into mountain climbers. Those are great for your abdominals, great for your arms, and great cardio. Another great exercise is sumo squats. When you get really wide in the legs and you tap those arms down to the floor, you get a nice strong flat back. Actually, it's angled. Um, and then because she was just so full of energy, um, I put her on my shoulders and we went down to the water just to give her some excited um, excitement. And we just did uh, squats with her all around my neck. Um, be sure to keep your back um, protected. So if you have back problems, lower back problems, you don't want to do any certain exercises. But you can have fun, you can work out with your kid, um, take them for a stroll, get them tired, and yeah, then you can do some of these bar exercises while they're taking a quick nap in their strollers. I hope you enjoyed it, and be sure to tune in for more exercises. Stay ready.